We're cutting some more eggs, guys. Uh, we have the jalopy. You're gonna have to look back to see what that is in some of our other videos. We have the jalopy, and uh, that was paired to a lavender albino. So stay tuned for this one. All right, so let's get into this. This is the male. The Jalopy is his name. Um, he produced one clutch already that came out that was um, very beautiful, but all of them were, seemed to be a little deformed. So um, we were hoping that everything worked out for this one, and we're going to get into it and hope that they do it. They are already pipping, and it looks so far like it's uh, healthy snakes of what we can see. So why don't we get into it? He's beautiful. Can't wait to get them into more projects, but here we go. This is a mother, and uh, before we really get into this, that's my cameraman or woman, pumps into everything. Before we really get into this, is the lavender albino, which I love. Um, big shout out to Powerline Reptiles, giving us a couple shirts. I asked uh, if they can get a shirt for Netsy. Well, actually, Netsy reached out to them and asked, and uh, they are running out, so you guys gotta order your shirts from them quick and then maybe they'll make some more. I would appreciate that because I want to get some more. Um, but this is a lavender albino. She's beautiful. We love lavender albinos. Uh, you can see how the color is different in here. It's not a stark white in between these yellows. And um, man, what just a beautiful, beautiful snake. All right, let's cut some eggs. While I'm getting this out, guys, make sure you guys like this video. Uh, and make sure you hit the subscribe button. It really helps us out. Uh, we've been definitely getting some good views and we really appreciate that from you guys. It's really humbling to us. Um, if you guys get a chance, oh man, there's a few coming out. If you guys get a chance, go over and check out Herp House Rock as well. We already have one all the way out of the egg. Yeah, I waited too long to come over to get into these. Man, they're looking cool. Okay, well, let's get into this. So... This one's already out. I'm gonna check to see what's going on here. So this is a leopard. Hmm. I'm apparently not great at calling snakes in the eggs. I mean, this is leopard. Maybe orange dream leopard? I don't know. It's really clean. Everything looks good. He's definitely very well put together, so everything looks good. Um, I'm going to not mess with them too much. I'm going to leave them in here. And uh, we've been taking these all out and putting them on just on the substrate so that the snakes don't get tangled up here in these. So, if anybody is worried about that. So we saw that this one snake was pipping and we decided to uh, to give them all just a little slit just in case anything weird happens. So I'm actually going to pick these up here and cut them over here on some paper towel. Trying something a little different here. And we're going to leave them together. All right. Why don't we start with this one? So really 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 want to hit some can anybody guess comment down below if you can guess time stamp it twins you're right so I want to hit some twins <laughs> okay man look how dark this is so all of these will be 100% lavender albino and 50% het pied but, uh, I don't know about that one. It was super crazy dark. It's got to be a leopard. But, is it something else in there? I don't know. Alright. So, I think maybe I need to move back just a tiny bit give you guys a little better lighting. Let's get into this one here. Across, but 
It looks to be okay. No, uh, it doesn't look to be deformed at all, which is great. This one has a lot of stuff in here. Hmm. Okay. The jawline looks good in this one too. It was our fear a little bit that the male might have been throwing off some weird genes, but uh, you can see the, the, everything looking so far so good. But this one, I don't know. Man, it looks pastel, it looks orange dream, but can't tell in the pattern yet. Hmm. It's definitely uh, alive. <laughs> and wanting to get out of the egg. All right, let's keep moving. I feel like the last couple videos I was uh, saying things that I shouldn't have said of what things were until they came out of the egg. So I'm going to try not to call things that I really don't know. Get better at it. All right. Also, I don't know how to call Gene X without anything. Wow, there's a lot of schmuckus in this one. The head stamp. <laughs> I don't know, this one's tough as well, but looks good. Uh, I see Orange Dream. Maybe this is an Anchi Orange Dream. Maybe an Anchi Orange Dream. Uh, I feel like uh, I feel like I need to get a little better at calling them in the eggs. Some of the snakes are, are a lot easier in the eggs than others, but it's still all fun. It's fun to uh, fun to get these animals and just producing some fun stuff this one looks cool already but I can't tell so we should not hit anything visually different than what the father is totally um, that's Enchi hmm. <laughs> Enchi pastel orange dream I'm gonna call that one and the pattern. I don't know how to call uh, Gene X though. So, there could be yellow belly in this too, in some of these. I can't really tell. Hmm. I don't know. I want to wait until they come out. I really want to hit something that looks just like the dad. It's really what we want to do. Should be able to call the one that looks just like the sire. Oh, that could be this one. All right. Good. That's great. That's awesome. I wish there wasn't so much schmuckus here, but man. Okay. That might be everything without the pastel. I think that's everything without the pastel. So that would be Orange Dream Leopard, Yellow Belly, Enchi, Gene X, 100% Het Lavender, 50% Het Pied. That's what I would say. I don't see pastel in it. I think, so I think that's cool. All these are gonna be ones that are gonna be hard to sell because they're all 100% Het Lavenders. So that's cool. I like that. That's good. That's great. <laughs> Keep on going down the line. One more. All right. So we had seven eggs this time. Hopefully I can count correctly. The last video, egg cutting video? No. Two egg cutting videos ago. Uh, I thought that we had eight eggs in, in there and, uh, I opened it up, I didn't count, I just said eight because I thought there was eight. Oh man, this one looks real cool. Okay. 
Oh, look at that. Maybe there's two snakes in here. This one looks crazy. Wait a second, wait a second. Could be two snakes. <laughs> it looks like two small snakes. Look at that. We finally hit it. Look at that one. I think that one's very similar to the father, but I think it's missing something. I don't know, that's a crazy pattern. And then this one looks like a pastel and yellow belly. There's definitely two snakes here. We finally hit twins. That's right, Robert Leader. We finally hit twins. <laughs> Can't wait for them to come out. That's great. This egg is small too. This is a really small egg. Hello. Hi, guys. Hi. We finally hit twins. That's awesome. I'm so excited. I'm ex more excited about that than what the genetics are. This one's definitely really good. Uh, awesome genetics here. I think that's the father minus something. Because that pattern's real crazy broken up. But this one I think is a pastel orange dream maybe. Of course it's hard to tell in the egg, especially when it's smushed in with something else. This egg was not the egg I would have picked for twins. Wow. This is, I think, the smallest or second smallest egg in the clutch. We finally did it. We finally did it. We hit twins. Hey, who's excited and has two thumbs? Uh, this guy. I'm going to wait to call some of these once they come out of the egg. But this one, I think, is... I think, I think we got this one right. The twins, I have to wait until they come out. Um, but that's really awesome. Again, this was from Miguel's snake that we got from him. And, uh, wow, just, just great odds here. It's always good to get good snakes, no matter what they are. So we really appreciate that. It's great. So that clutch was pretty exciting. Um, it's, I can't even believe that we hit a, a twin in it. I actually didn't expect to hit a twin in that one. There is another clutch of eggs that we have in the incubator that we are pretty sure we saw um, two bubbles. So we're hoping that that meant twin. Um, it is our first one, so we're excited. This is a Firefly GHI Leopard Het Clown female that we're going to be holding back here. <laughs> um, she's beautiful and uh, we produced her not that long ago. Obviously, she's still pretty small, but we just wanted to make sure you guys are out there doing what you do, and uh, please comment down below. Let us know what you're working with. We like hearing all the fun stories and, and how your seasons are going. Uh, we appreciate everybody reaching out. A lot of people have been contacting me lately, and I really enjoy it. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you guys, uh, you know, have a great day. Make sure you hit that like button, the subscribe, hit that notification bell to let you know when we are producing new content. Thank you so much. Check out Herp House Rock. Herp House Rock. It's right here. It'll be right here. <laughs> All right, thanks guys. I need more bloopers because I do everything so perfect. <laughs> I got the... Uh, <laughs> Bear's issue that he has where he doesn't have any bloopers because he does everything so perfect. So there's that. Okay. <clears throat> Work. I can do it. It's a pastel Enchi. Um, leopard, yellow belly, orange dream, Genex head pipe. You don't know? <laughs> well. Um, yeah, see, I can do it. <laughs>